Welcome back to the channel, it's Nine, and today we are going to be giving an update on the Silent Hill leak that we talked about in our last video. A lot of good news surrounding that for the most part. We're also going to be talking about the Final Fantasy 35th anniversary as well as its ties to a showcase from PlayStation. Before we get into that, all I'll ask is that you please hit that like button and that subscribe button. Now let's get into this Silent Hill leak. So I have an update regarding the leak I discussed in my last video. Dust Gollum, who leaked the screenshots, has had his account copyright striked and has also had the pictures removed. This has led many to believe that this is a confirmation that these images are indeed Silent Hill. Obviously, we don't know for sure if that's the case, but let's explore this. I think they are legitimate images given that they were removed. Konami would not have had them taken down if they didn't have ownership of the material. It is important to note that we don't technically know it was Konami, but within several hours, it was all taken down, which raises questions. Another important note is, WayForward director Tom Hewlett, who previously worked for Konami and was a producer on Silent Hill, expressed his unhappiness towards the leak on Twitter. And this situation, again, is, is something we have to kind of take with a little bit of skepticism because it is all but confirmed. So I think there's still room for skepticism, but I think there's like a 99.99% chance this is confirmed, but I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you think that this is pretty much confirmation for you or do you still feel there's room for skepticism and, and this possibly not being the case? Now, next up, we're going to be talking about Final Fantasy's 35th anniversary and its ties to a showcase from PlayStation. And this is all from a Ernie's call on Friday with Square Enix. This summary comes courtesy of David Gibson, a Japan-based analyst and investment advisor. So during an earnings call on Friday, Square Enix said it intended to release several new games this year, specifically centered around their most high-profile franchises. So you could think like Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest, games like these. These, these are the titles that are the IP that are huge for them. They also said to expect news regarding plans for Final Fantasy's 35th anniversary either this month being May or next month being June. They also state seeing the FF16 trailer and have high expectations for the title. Of course, they're naturally going to say that. That's one of their games, one of their biggest games coming up. So they're going to gas it up, make it seem like it's absolutely incredible, which to be honest, it already looks really amazing and I can't wait for it. So for me, they don't got to convince me. I'm already convinced. Let's do a breakdown, see what all this could possibly mean and what we know. And we know Final Fantasy 16 is ready to be shown. However, it's being held for a specific reason that's not being officially disclosed yet. We can surmise that it's likely related to Sony given it's an exclusive. And we also know that Final Fantasy VII Remake is said to get some information revealed this year as well. Both these titles are going to be exclusive PlayStation games, although I don't believe they've said Remake Part 2 is technically exclusive just yet, but I think it's safe to say it probably is going to be, especially given that Remake Part 1 has not made it to Xbox just yet. The biggest question that remains is, does this go the way of an FF 35th anniversary event, or is this going to be a case of Sony having a showcase, including these highly anticipated games, and I think that it makes the most sense for these titles to be shown at a PlayStation event, given that the games are exclusive. And Sony has been quite quiet over the past few months, not really giving us anything super major in terms of announcements. So we're still waiting at another look at God of War as well as a release date. And that's something that we expect will hopefully be coming soon. We also have Spider-Man 2. We also have Wolverine. We also have a few other titles. I'm assuming that Naughty Dog has got to be showing something soon. Then there's also Sucker Punch and many other studios that we're still waiting to hear from. So I think a showcase would make perfect sense. They have a lot in the holster, right? That they have not revealed just yet. And now there seems to be a Silent Hill thing that has been said to have Sony's involvement according to Dust Gollum, which at this point, I am more likely to believe because of the reaction to his leak and the screenshots that he posted. So I think that there is definitely room for a showcase to happen this spring. You know, there was a time where I wasn't too certain about it, but right now I'm feeling like it's, it's very, very likely, especially given Square Enix is talking about showing off some titles and, and doing Final Fantasy 35th's anniversary, either this month or next month, again, could be its own event, but I'm leaning towards it actually being part of a showcase, but time will tell. That's all I have for you guys in today's video. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think of this whole Silent Hill situation. 
Do you think FF's 35th anniversary will be a part of a PlayStation showcase? Do you think it's going to be its own thing? Let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. It means a lot to me. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos. Share this video with a friend. You can also follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Links will be in the description. And I will talk to you all on the next one. Take care.